What's going on guys? We got an awesome unboxing and review video for you today. And ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be the newest and greatest and the best robotic vacuum. That's what I'm talking about. This particular one is by ProScenic right here. And without further ado, we are gonna go ahead and open it on up. It has amazing features. We're gonna talk about a little bit of those features. We're gonna show you how it works on my carpet and linoleum floor, tile floor. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it here. And the precise model number for this one is the Coco Smart 790T is in Tom. Sweet, let's go ahead and open it on up right here and we will get the full shebang shebang here in just a sec. Right off the top of the box, we have our manual here. We have our app that we can download. Again, you can control this by the app, which is absolutely fantastic. And then right on top, we have our little cylinder dish there. We're gonna get that out of the way. And don't you worry guys, we're gonna get some close-up shots. We're gonna be taking this bad boy apart. Let's lift the styrofoam up and she looks really nice. So let me show you what's in the box here. So inside the box, we have our robotic vacuum. We're gonna get to in just a second. Let's go ahead and pull out some accessories and see what we have right over here in the right-hand corner, which looks to be our mop cloths here. And there looks to be two of them there, very nice. We also have the charger docking system here. So this obviously is where the robotic vacuum would charge up. And that of course has the adapter plug in here and some little soft pads here for your floor, et cetera, that would go up against a wall, et cetera. Over here on this side of the box, we do have our plug, which obviously is for the docking system. Very nice, that's a US plug, but for you guys in different countries, I'll go ahead and link this product if you guys are in the Canada or UK or India. I will link for you guys in the description box below. So make sure you take a look at those links. Over here, we have a remote control. Very nice. On, off, plane, home, area, clock, edge. And I believe it does not come with batteries. There might be batteries in here somewhere, but you're gonna need two AAA batteries for that there. And let's go ahead and remove this guy. And then let's see what we have underneath here. Underneath the robotic vacuum, we actually have about four different brush spinners, which is absolutely fantastic. One, two, three, and four different brush spinners. And then we have this here, which I don't know exactly what that is quite yet. And then all the way in the back here, you almost don't even see it, is another filter. So be careful, you pay attention. I almost didn't even see that. So here is the robotic vacuum, guys. A definitely a very good looking design here. I'm gonna read a couple of key features of the robotic vacuum. It is app controlled, so you can control this by your app. It has IPNAS program cleaning system, automatic navigation, cleaning along direct line, powerful suction, ultrasonic radar detection, HSIR sensor, and anti-fall sensors, anti-fall and anti-collision, vacuum cleaner and mopping, of course. And those are a couple key features they have on their listing, which again is below in the description box. So let's go ahead and lift this guy on up here is where we're gonna have our debris compartment here with our HEMPA filter here. Again, you have two of those that it does come with. And we do have a little brush that attaches right on top, which is awesome for getting the corners out and getting the dust and debris, etc. Let's go ahead and flap it up from the top here, opens up this way. And then of course we have our little filter box that would pull out like that. And then you would dump, of course, the nasty debris, etc. So we'll go ahead and put that guy back on in there, clamp that shut. And that leans right back in there with a little lays down the thing there. That's absolutely awesome. We do on this side, let's go ahead and take a little look here. We do have a foam pad here that you will need to remove. That is obviously there to prevent bumping during shipment. And you do have a very thin piece of plastic right over the top as well. So remember that. It doesn't look like I saw any batteries in the box. So you will need to go purchase. There's another one there. You will need to go purchase two AAA batteries for your remote control. Here we have some nice sensors here. We have one, two, and three. They actually look like the DJI Mavic. I do have a drone. They look like the same sensors, which is absolutely awesome. And again, that's your kind of your front bumper there. And then again, we see the side here. This is where, if you don't want to use a docking station, I'm pretty sure you just charge it straight into the machine there. On the back, we have what looks to be a sensor or remote detection, not really sure filtration system there, your on and off button here. And then let's go ahead and flip it over. And here we actually see the nice brushing system here, the wheels, the front wheel here, and that looks absolutely spot on. Very nice design as well. I do love the colors. Now on the back here towards the front wheel, you're gonna see an L right over here and you're gonna see a right right here. 
This is where the brushes come into play and you do have four of those. And those just go ahead and snap on in right there. They just have little square grooves right there. And you just kind of place those right on top. Put those right in the bat there. And the brushes do have a small L on the actual brush here and a very small R on the brush here. So make sure the R and R are the same, LL the same as well. Let's go ahead and turn this guy on and see what she looks like here with the uh, LCD screen. Obviously first, turn on the power button here and now we're gonna go ahead and hit that there. System rebooting. Countdown timer on the LCD screen was about five seconds, it rebooted. You have the time here. You have your kind of your cleaning functions, your spinning, your home button here, and all that good stuff. Very good looking LCD display as well. Let's go ahead and set it down, see what she can do. So we're gonna go ahead and try out the app. So it, again, it's ProCynic, and let's go ahead and hit that there. We'll go ahead and install that app. Okay, we've downloaded the app, and you just need to follow the directions in order to be able to connect it, and it's pretty simple. You just read the directions right there. So let's go ahead and get on into it here. We have our home button here, we have choose mode here, and then watch this, we have a, kind of a play button. And now it's gonna go ahead and start here. Kind of flop around in a circle here. And of course you still have your remote control here. So let's go ahead and pause it. Pause it there. Let's go ahead and choose a mode here. We have auto, area, edge. Let's try edge here. So now it's actually doing edge. It should go over to that wall there. As it goes along the edge absolutely fantastic let's go ahead and follow it here and see what's going on so again it's just going to go all around the edges here let's see what it does in the bathroom kind of tight spaces it should go around the edge of the toilet there these small mats this one is actually kind of heavy and sticks to the floor so i'm not exactly sure let's pay attention to see what happens over here and again it just gently nudges like the air freshener there kind of goes up against the wall and again doesn't make any marks or anything like that so let's see what happens with this rug yeah see these rugs are kind of a problem kind of the lightweight rugs here let's see what happens with it kind of jumps off of it as it flaps back does a good job there it might go one more time sometimes you do need to kind of keep your eye on robotic vacuums I've reviewed about four different ones so sometimes if they do get caught on rugs like this, there could be an issue. So you might want to probably... See, as we saw there, it sucks up the rug, unfortunately. So I would remove these type of rugs from the area that you want to clean. So if something like that does happen, again, it just shows Air 22. So you just turn it off. You just hit the button two times, it goes back to this. We'll grab our app again. And we'll go ahead and just have it just go around this general area here on the carpet. So we'll go ahead and choose auto here and just we'll go ahead and just let it do whatever it does. And then we'll go ahead and hit play there. And so it'll just go ahead and just cruise on around here. And again, you can use your remote control, but I mean, you might as well use your phone because you always have your phone on you. So we're just kind of cleaning around the couch using the uh, the brush. Now the brushes are absolutely fantastic for dog hair and pet hair especially because what it does is it kind of gets close to the couches, gets those little cracks underneath your Ikea furniture and kind of whips it into the actual vacuuming portion of it here as it kind of cruises along the wall here. Kind of spins around, just does its thing a little bit. And overall, a very quiet device. Not super, super quiet, obviously, but not super, super loud either. You literally could have this running at two o'clock in the morning and you probably wouldn't wake anybody up in any room in the house. Let's go ahead and listen in a little closely. The only sound you're hearing from is the suction in the back here. Again, this is a lot quieter than a normal vacuum. As you can see here, the lines it's doing as it goes around the carpet area here and flips around right there, going up against the bag there, bumps into it. Sensors pick up where the edge is here, very slightly bumps into it. Again, no scratches, just very lightly bumps up against it and just cruises around the house. So we'll let it run for a little while and then I'm gonna look at the trap to see uh, how much uh, dirt and debris is in it. I did vacuum about a week ago or so, so I'm curious to see how much dust has accumulated in about a week. But as you can see here, so what it's doing is it's actually doing lines. So it's going this way, this way, working its way over, and then kind of coming around. So what it'll probably do is my guess, it might go all the way to the bag, or it might just flip around right here because it knows it already went there. 
yeah, would you look at that? That's a smart little device. And see, now it's working its way out. So it's literally going in a nice pattern like you would do as a human being. That's actually really cool. So my guess is it's gonna spin around, get closer to the stairs, and then after this area, it'll go somewhere else. Hopefully it'll come back over this direction here. Now obviously stairs are an issue. It's not gonna fall off your stairs, but stairs are an issue for sure. So unfortunately, I don't know any robotic vacuum. It's too big to put on your actual stairs right here. It would of course clean this section right here, but for stair stairs, robotic vacuums are not a really a good option. Now, of course, I won't go into all the features, but you could attach the mop feature and have it mop as it's vacuuming or just mopping on your linoleum floor or using it for like your hardwood. So here it is now after the stairs, it has jumped over this direction here. It has gone all the way up there and now it's coming back this way here. And so that's absolutely spot on fantastic. Let's see what it does for the stairs here. I'm very curious myself. So it might turn around and go one more route. Oh, no, looks like it's gonna go to the stairs. This is great guys. I'm right here with you. Okay, so it looks like it turned around a little bit. That's what I was afraid of. So it's probably gonna go one more route down here towards where it ended right here by the chairs. Swing back around and I'll get that shot in a second. Okay, this should be it. Let's see what happens. As it's approaching, oh, oh, very good. It knows it's approaching. Wow, very good, guys. It literally is going to the brushes all the way to the edge without falling off. That is awesome, see? It literally went all the way to the edge. That is cool. Very, very well designed and made. There's it getting between the uh, legs of the chair. All right, the last feature, I'm gonna let this go ahead and run for a while, and the last feature I wanna check is gonna be the return to home, where once you hit that home button, it will go ahead and spin around, do its thing, and go ahead and dock in its charger all by itself. But real quickly, see, this is really nice. Lastly, guys, I'm gonna see the charging method here. I hit the charging button. It is way over here. And again, I have placed it along the edge here, so it backs up against there, but there's enough room on either side. If it's too tight from what I understand, it probably won't be able to dock itself, but we're gonna go ahead and see what is going on here. So as it inches its way forward, we will be back with you when it gets a little bit closer. So here we go here. It looks like it's lining up real good here. And it should jump that thing there. Let's take a little gander here. It might wanna, oh, 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 I think there we go. Oh, there we go. Get up on there, get up there. Get up there, what's going on? I think it's gonna attempt to kind of leap up there. This is why you want it kind of backed up against something because it's gonna put a little pressure on it. But let's make sure it can do it. It should be able to do it even with the uh, little brushes. Let's go ahead and see here. Start charging. Hey, how about that? That was a little bit weird. It kind of shifted it around, but it actually did it by itself. You might want to put some really sticky tape if you find a location, you know, mountable sticky tape so that doesn't move on you there. But it did work, it just kind of shifted around a little bit. But now it is officially charging. So as you can see here, here are the different patterns on auto mode here. It went this way. It went up and down, it went to the stairs. It went all the way around the chairs there. I don't think it worked its way around that side of the chairs. I don't think it could fit behind the chairs that way. So the tighter spaces, obviously it won't be able to squeeze by, but it did this whole entire carpet area here, plus a little bit of the bathroom that we saw and some of the linoleum floor in the kitchen. So let's go ahead and open this guy on up and see how much lint we do have, or I should say like stuff inside of it. As we can see here, there, there's some dust on the HEMPA filter there, but let's go ahead and go into some better lighting and open this little box on up. Okay, we need to go ahead and pull out this guy again and look, at that that is absolutely fantastic that's a lot of nastiness right there being caught in that little box there we have some more on the bottom 
And again, I just vacuumed with my really expensive Dyson one week ago. So that is great. It definitely looks like it picked up some extra nastiness. I don't know where that came from, but I'm definitely pretty impressed. I didn't think I was going to find that much stuff after one week. I guess that goes to show you how dirty carpet gets after one week. Well, folks, that was a great robotic vacuum. I'm definitely impressed with it, and it definitely lived up to the standard. I'll tell you what, that might even be the iRobot killer because of the price difference. Again, this price is much better. Again, the links will be in the description box below, and I'll have you guys linked up in the UK as well, Canada, and India, Amazon, and of course, the US. So check out those links in the description box. Stay tuned because I got a lot more reviews in the books. Thank you guys for coming along for the review. Hopefully this helped you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.